Hi, and welcome to section 2.8 for Econ 1 on the AQA exam board. Today, we're going to be looking at the interconnectedness of markets, and we'll be looking at composite demand, derived demand, joint supply, joint demand, and substitutes and complementary goods. Let's start by looking at composite demand. This is where there is demand for a good from many different uses. An example is oil, because oil is used for transportation, the production of plastics, and the production of many other goods. Another example is wheat. When there is an increase in the demand for wheat from one use, let's say biofuels, this increases the price in the market for wheat. Other uses for wheat, such as making bread or using the wheat for animal feed, then have a choice to either pass this price increase onto their consumers or choose an alternative resource. The next definition that we will come on to is derived demand. This is when there is demand for a good or a factor of production as a result of the demand for the final good. An example is, if I demanded a table, then labour and capital will be used to produce this table. So me demanding the table also results in demand for labour and capital to make this table. So the factors of production are often in derived demand. Joint supply is where the production of one good leads to another good being produced as a byproduct. For example, raising cows for their meat can create a variety of byproducts such as milk, leather, manure. These byproducts can then be sold on. We also have joint demand. Joint demand is essentially complement goods. An example is printer and printer rings. Two goods that are in joint demand will have a high negative cross elasticity of demand. So now we come on to the final two types of relationships, which is complementary goods and substitute goods. Complementary goods are goods that provide a higher level of utility when they are consumed together e.g. cheese and wine. When you consume them together, the utility of individuals will be higher. Substitutes are goods that provide a similar level of utility to each other. For example, if you consume Pepsi or Coke, your utility will be similar. Therefore, Pepsi and Coke are substitutes. Another example is the Sun newspaper and the Mirror newspaper.